Skateboarding is a super fun activity. Like every activity, you need shoes to skateboard. And the only problem with skateboarding is grip tape. It shreds them down like no other and you'll go through pairs of shoes like that. Many people that have skateboarding for a long time go through shoes, they find different shoes, what's good, what works and what doesn't. And unfortunately you have to find out what doesn't work the hard way. Now you may be thinking, why not just get a cheap pair of shoes from Walmart? And that's exactly what we did. I recently got back into skateboarding a week ago. I've been relearning how to do everything and I've been doing lots and lots of kick flips. My shoes got absolutely shredded. It had been roughly 10 years since I skateboarded. I know how to do the movement, I know the motions. It's just me constantly sliding my foot against that grip tape over and over. I've been re-skateboarding for seven days. I bought these shoes specifically for the skate session, me getting back into it because I didn't want to ruin any of the shoes that I have now and I wasn't gonna buy a nice pair. This is what skating regular looks like. Your body is on the left side of the board while you're going forward. And this is what goofy looks like. Your body is on the opposite the right side of the board while you're going forward. It just comes down to what is more comfortable for you and this will affect what shoe gets torn up the most. So I head to my local Walmart, pick up this pair of shoes for 20 bucks. Let's take a look at them. Starting off with the left shoe, this is what it looks like. It's fairly clean, looks hardly used other than the dirt. It's in very good condition. We got the sides, we got the top, and then we got the bottoms. No wear or tear. This is after a week of use. Now, I skate goofy. Let's move over to the right shoe. This is what the right shoe looks like. It is torn up beyond belief within only seven days of skateboarding. It's already got a hole my finger can fit through. Now the bottom is in really good condition. The left side is in pretty good condition. It's really only the right side and that's because that grip tape just tears them up. It's torn up the shoelace. You can see the rubber is worn down as well from that grip tape. And this is only seven days of use. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the shoes. You can see the only thing on the left shoe is that it's dirty. The right shoe is completely busted in. Of course, it's still skatable. You can just patch that hole and keep on going. Since I've only been skating for seven days, I'm not sure how long shoes really last. And since I'm kind of in that phase where I know how to kickflip, I just can't consistently land it, I'm constantly doing kickflips and sliding my foot across that grip tape. So to answer the question, can you skate Walmart shoes? Absolutely. Now they're not gonna last super long depending on where you are in your skating phase. If you're getting new into skating and you just don't wanna tear up any of your shoes, you don't know how to do any tricks, you don't know how to ollie or anything, these are a great choice. Learning to ollie is not gonna tear up your shoes nearly as much as constantly kick flipping. So depending on where you at on learning how to skateboard, these will last much longer or they might not last very long at all. They're the same style as Vans pretty much and nobody cares what you're wearing. Why go spend 60, 80, $100 on a pair of shoes that's gonna get torn up? You can wear whatever you want and whatever you wanna spend your money on. If you wanna buy something cheap, buy something cheap. I know for damn sure, I ain't spending $80 on a pair of shoes that are gonna get this busted up. If I'm still skating and I do end up getting a nicer pair or a different pair, I'll probably do a review on that as well in the future. But that is pretty much it for now. Don't be scared to try new things. Don't be scared to have fun because skateboarding is a lot of fun, especially when you get to do it with friends. That is it for this video though. Real quick, I wanna give you guys a huge thanks. All my skateboarding videos have been doing absolutely crazy. They have been blowing all my other content out of the water and it makes me so happy watching the numbers grow. I love you guys and appreciate you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.